Driver, I'm gonna Stay spot and identify as out. many animals as possible for you. But if I miss any, I go to Matata, no worries. Plenty of names on that guide. So you can spot and identify them yourselves if you need to. Now, this area we're heading into is called Little Ituri Forest. A lot of plants and animals around here. But unfortunately, the animals are very well camouflaged. You gotta keep an eye out. They're very well blended in with this area. Uh, since the reserve was founded close to 1971, a lot of years the animals used to the truck, so... <laughs> oh, it's on the right side! Big brown animal, white stripes on its legs. It is the Okapi. The Okapi, believe it or not, is the only known relative of the giraffe. That giraffe relative was not we discovered until 1901. It's a very fairly recent discovery for Western science. Actually, no. Only known about 100 years ago. Now, as I keep making my way forward, check out on your left, you're going to find a watering hole. Oh, they might be and uh, there's a big white bird over here, the yellow-billed stork. They're carnivorous. They eat small fish, frogs, snakes, lizards, mice, small birds, stuff like that. Uh, basically, a lot of animals gather near the watering hole sometimes. They get thirsty, they don't need water. That's why sometimes... Oh, there's a black rhino off to your left side. Good eye, guys. I kind of couldn't see them. Oh, 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 that's a really rare rhino. We don't see a lot of those out here. <laughs> Hope you guys aren't getting blinded by the sun now. Oh, he's not sitting on it. 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 Bongo are known as the ghosts of the forest, very shy animals. Make sure you guys are sitting down, please. Thank you. Their horns are tilted at an angle so they can push through the underbrush without getting snagged in it. Come up some maneuver out here. Oh, another very well camouflaged animal up ahead, but it's standing in the open. This is the Great Tarkudu. Male Kudu have horns, females do not. So I look at some ladies on your left side here. Outro animal. Second largest of all of the antelope. Wow. Look at all the snakes Beautiful. Legal, Rafa. What's the give me? Yeah, what was that called? Yeah, anybody on board a big kind of hippos? All right. We are waiting to stop the river next. That's on a plenty of hippos. A hippopotamus can hold its breath about eight minutes at a time, so you never know when they're actually going to come out of the water. Keep an eye out. You might see a heck or two poke up. Quer ver hipopótamo? Quer ver hipopótamo na água? It's killing! Ah, o hipopótamo deve estar debaixo d'água. Oh, so you might see some hippos on your left side up ahead. Well, anyway, as we're making our way forward, trying to give you guys a less blinding view, check out some white birds on your left. Those are pink back pelican. Those pelicans get a really bright pink back in the mating season. That's where the name comes from. And they're also colonial. They have massive numbers. They have to find which are famous in the breeding seasons. There it is. Oh yeah, I'll see hippo off to your left side in a moment. Oh, pelican is done. These hippos will remain underwater most of the day to avoid the hot African sun. Towards the end of the day, though, they get pretty hungry. They can eat up to 150 pounds of grass. They pull right out of the ground with powerful lips of theirs. Up more off to your left side. Of course, weighing up to 5,500 pounds, they're going to need every bite they can get. But while we're waiting, fully seated, take a look to your left or right side. There's some Nile crocodile in this oh, room. Oh, 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 now, the Nile crocodile has oh, bite force oh, around 2,000 oh, pounds per square inch. That is enough to crush every bone in their prey's body. You know, no, they're taking down some big animals like water buffalo, zebra, and wolf. If it is too close to the water, it is on the menu. <laughs> Alright, folks, we're about to start around again. Now we're going to go after the savannah. Next, we're to a lot of more famous animals like giraffe, elephants, lions, cheetah, and stuff like that. So, once we're out of this forest, hopefully, you get a great view of the surrounding area and a lot of the cool animals that live here. Now, it is a bit of a dry environment in the savannah, and so a lot of the plants and animals are going to look a little different because of their adaptations. Great example come up on the right side, though. Large brown tree, no leaves on it this time of year. This is the baobab tree. 
Uh, the Bay of Apple Tree will go nine months of the year without any leaves on it. It's very drought tolerant. You'll see a lot of those out here. Pretty cool. That's cool. <laughs> Uh, this is my favorite view of the entire river. A great view around here. The Savagetti grasslands stretch for thousands of miles across East Africa, and is home to millions of migrating animals every year. Oh, my Definitely, the wild Africa. We work very hard at conserving. Now the animals that live out here are sort of like a natural landscaping team. Giraffe will trim the leaves off these trees, which lets the light shine down, but for grass to grow in. Grass grows up, it's eaten by grazing animals, makes more room for trees. So it is a balanced ecosystem. Everyone has enough food to survive out here. He's walking right up. Now you're also going to see some orange cones of earth every now and then. Those are termite mounds. Termites mix dirt, mud, and other debris like that, and it hardens like concrete, very solid structures. Now look, we're getting a really good view of that giraffe up ahead if it doesn't keep moving away. We'll just keep making our way forward. Oh, oh, some antelope over here on your left. Those are sable antelope. Males are a dark chocolatey brown in color. Females and babies are a lighter ginger in color. It's kind of like their dress code. They're also the symbol of Harambe Reserve. You ever seen our logo? It's a black outline of the sable antelope. Is it there's quite a few giraffes walking around over here, so we'll see what Those giraffe, you notice their spots are a very jagged, blotchy pattern. Those are Maasai giraffes. What's <laughs> running? So I'm scared. Oh, stop in the road, we're not going anywhere. E, a giraffe parou bem no meio da avenida. Animals always have the right away in Harambe, so uh. Sometimes it takes a little longer to get out. Make sure all remain seated back there. I hope you guys remember the pattern on these giraffe off to you right there. Small, jagged, blotchy pattern. Because the giraffe directly in front of us by the palm tree has different spots on it. Very large, round, even pattern. It is a reticulated giraffe. Reticulated giraffe get their name from the Latin word reticulata, which means net. It's referred to a very net-like pattern. It's almost like someone threw a net on his body, spray painted it like a giraffe brown color. You can really see the texture of it. So you tell the difference between the two types of giraffe based on those spots. Look at that giraffe on the right. 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 Way up ahead of us are some really small animals running around in that field. Those are springbok. Springbok are kind of fun to watch. When they get startled, they can jump up to 10 feet in the air and they'll do it over and over and over again. So they eventually have been very much agility. They're able to spring and spring and their step helps them avoid some of the less maneuverable predators out here. There's also a large gray animal hanging out by the springbok called the waterbuck. Waterbuck have this oily secretion on their fur, which allows them to dive in the water to escape from predators. 
definitely keep your hands inside. We very rarely get this close to giraffe. Off to your left, you also, make, you also see some uh, large cattle with huge horns on their head. Those are Angoli cattle. Their horns get to six feet long and massive. Still waiting for that other giraffe to get out of the road, but you get a great view from here. Make sure you guys stay seated back there. So uh, on your right side now, you'll be able to see those like Gordian cattle. These are technically the only domesticated animal in the reserve. The Watusi tribe started breeding cattle centuries ago for their horns, and that's the end of the hundreds of years of breeding cattle, basically. Uh, that's why they're also known as the Watusi cattle. Nossa, que chifrudo. Oh, chifrudo. Precisa fazer o quê? A roupa pra eles mesmo. Ah, que horror. Ah, girafa não atravessa. Fica do lado de cá. Pra gente te ver bem de pertinho. Que tal? Que tal eu tirar uma foto da girafa? Let's move it anyway. Oh, now it's on your left side. Look, it's on the 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 left side. So we're just going to go poly poly. That means going very point. slowly. So keep your fingers crossed, it should be all right. <laughs> uh, sometimes you might even see animals walking around out in the clearings on right there. It's a bit of a high animal traffic area. Try some of these bridges, you'll have foot first. What was that? Oh, oh, right, oh, right. oh boy. Oh, right. oh, right. oh, boy. Oh, okay, who did not cross their fingers back there? <laughs> well, always listen to the driver. Let's get out of here. Oh, it's even your left. I wasn't expecting to see that, we're still down. Oh, it means the red clay pits. Good spot for finding animal tracks. As well as the end. Uh, actually, look at those vertical lines in the walls. Those are tusk marks. Elephants scrape away at the clay walls with toe tusks and they eat it. But it's a good sign there might be some elephants in the area. Oh yeah, some elephants off in the distance. Cool. We're gonna make our way over to clearing. Get a great view of them over there. Both male and female elephants have tusks on them. Unfortunately, that does kind of make the target for poachers, too. That's not necessarily a good thing. I have a head in the clear, so you can pick up that radio. A little bit better signal on these regions, anyway. Preparado para ver elefantes? Well, uh, good news is there's elephants. Bad news is it looks like they're all hiding behind the rock. So you'll just barely see uh, maybe a backside or poking above there. Oh, I see one walking. I'll just cut by slowly. See what happens here. Ah, it stopped. Let's see if I can cheat and get a better angle. 
Oh, here in New Lexus, a great there flamingo. Aí, tava right escondido. Right is pink of all the flamingos. E os flamingos? O elefante lá em cima. Tá escondido. Infelizmente o elefante se escondeu da gente. Eu acho que o elefante pensou que a gente era mal. É. Ficou com medo. Não consigo ver nada. Cheetah are the fastest of the land mammals. On average, they run about 60 miles an hour. They are very quick. Ah, ali, acabei de ver. They're also a bit more of a daytime predator, relying very heavily on their eyesight. So this bird, tigre ali deitado, rapaz. Olha ali, consegue ver deitado ali? Não. Oh, good eye, right up ahead of us, white rhinoceros. Take a look to your left. Oh, rhinoceronte aí. Now, believe it or not, these are not actually white in color. This is mud on their body. Under that mud, they are a blackish gray like any other rhino. The name white comes from the Afrikaans word, fight, meaning wide. You look at their lip, it's not pointy. Most rhinos have a pointy lip. Theirs is flat, broad, and wide. That's where the name actually came from. Você viu o rinoceronte, Rafa? Olha aqui, olha aqui pra mim. Viu o rinoceronte? Olha o leão lá em cima. Lá em cima, tá deitado na pedra, olha. Tá vendo? A leoa? É a fêmea. A leoa fêmea. Viu? Não viu? Ele tava na sua frente. Que? Tava na sua frente. Oh, 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 avestruz. Tá vendo o avestruz ali? They're the biggest birds in the world. They are seven feet tall. They can also run about 40 miles an hour, but they cannot fly. They are flightless birds. Aí já vem. Olha lá o leão dormindo na pedra. Olha ali. Dormindo na pedra, tá vendo? Viu agora? Fala, acorda, leão. Acorda, leão. Ah, que bom que vimos o leão, né? Coming on your left side as go around the turn. Have some corkscrew shaped horns on their head. Pretty cool. 
Oh, they're on your right side too. I want you to be able to get here. They're in the here. Now the haddocks are very well adapted to a drier environment like the savanna or the desert. They can go most of their life without drinking any water. They get most of it from the grass and plants they eat. So they can survive out in desert, savanna, stuff like that. Very hardy and durable animals. Uh huh. Look at me. Very simple. Okay. Thirteen. Well, unfortunately, the fence line looks like we're getting a little closer to Harambe Village, so you might be hopping off the truck soon. That's the bad news. The good news, though, is it's not the end of your safari. It's actually a walking safari right up ahead. It's called Pangani Forest Exploration Trail. Now, that's, uh, the sun is setting very quickly. I don't think it's going to be open for much longer, so now it's probably a good time to head over there. You can see cool animals like monkeys, meerkats, naked mole rats, a big bird sanctuary. They're all flying around you. You can even watch hippos underwater in a glass viewing area. It's pretty cool. And since it's a walking safari, you can spend the rest of the, however long it takes the, the sun to set. So if you want to sit there and watch the monkeys so you get the perfect photograph, try to go for it. Uh, I don't know if you heard, there's a bit of a whistle out here. It sounded like the Rafiki's Planet Watch Wildlife Express train. That train is a transport. It's the only way to get to Rafiki's Planet Watch. I'm not sure if it's going to be open for much longer either, so definitely keep an eye out for that as well. It's home to an animal affection section where you can touch and physically interact with animals. It's also home to where you can see some cool animals like spiders, scorpions, noisy dark frogs, tetlantula, stuff like that. No, you do not touch them. And if you guys are interested in big cats still, make your way over to the other side of the world on Asia. You'll find the Maharaja Jungle Trek. That's home to tigers. If you want to see tigers, awesome spot to check out. Well, anyway, thank you very much, everyone, for choosing Kilimanjaro Safari. It's had a great time with you all today. Don't want to say goodbye, though. It's very Double. final sounding and frankly, it's a bit depressing. So what we like to say instead among friends is the phrase, Kwaharini. That means to go well. So Kwaharini, everyone. Kwaharini. Oh. Come on. Watch him. Three, two,